You have not chosen me, Jesus said, I have chosen you. In the second reading for today, from the first letter of Paul to Timothy, we're reminded of just how ancient this ritual is. And in this very ritual of ordination, we are instructed that the priest is configured to Christ, the eternal high priest, and joined to the priesthood of the bishops. The imposition of hands in silence highlights for all of us that it is not our work, but the work of the Holy Spirit. You're being ordained as this local church, the Holy Church of Washington, calls us actively to enter into the spirit of the new evangelization. This moment in time, for your exercise of the one eternal priesthood of Jesus Christ, includes the grace of a new Pentecost. This experience unfolding in this church is part of what we just celebrated in our first archdiocesan synod, of which you will be agents. Pope Francis is the model and a voice of this aspect of priestly ministry. We hear him say to us as Jesus did, go out, seek what's lost. The Good Shepherd invites, encourages, supports, reaches out over and over again to all of the flock and beyond. St. John Paul II reminds us the priest finds his full identity in being one with the Lord Jesus. He is a living and transparent image of Christ the priest. It is in the Eucharistic ministry that the priest responds to the command of Jesus at the Last Supper, the night before he died, do this in memory of me. It's our turn now. It's our turn now to continue the mission of Jesus Christ in his church here today. What all of us recognize is that it is now your turn to take up the challenge of Jesus, feed my sheep. The great work begun by Christ, passed on in his church, continues in each one of you. It's for this reason that with hearts filled with happiness, we simply pray, may what has begun so well in you today be brought by God to fruitful completion.